car ride is at its most brilliant when it's toying with the concept of the unknown. Throwing in something that doesn't fit its surroundings as a narrative left turn only serves to make it stand out and stress us out that much more. Even when we're coming prepared to a movie we know is going to be dishing out perturbing content, the very best films are the ones that ratchet it up 10 levels when you least expect it. The ones that leave you reeling in the aftermath. The ones that make you double take and question, what on earth was that? So then, these are the movies that used horror as a weapon, attacking both our senses and sensibilities with deviations into the horrifying when we are nowhere near prepared to deal with it. From sweet, beautiful love stories twisted by arresting imagery, to genre fare that subverted expectations to jaw-dropping effect. These are the moments of horror that make their movies all the more disturbing. I am the unpleasant surprise of Ash from What Culture Horror, and these are 10 horrific movie moments that come out of nowhere. 10. The Lovecraftian Monster Spring Spring, for the most part, is a romantic getaway movie. Evan loses his mother from cancer, deciding to run away to Italy to clear his head, but finds his thoughts filled with a woman he meets out there that he quickly falls in love with. Louise, on the other hand, has a monstrous secret, one she tries to keep from Evan until finally succumbing to her transformation later on in the movie. While we've seen glimpses of this creature throughout, as a scaly lizard woman most prominently, it's only when Evan breaks into Louise's flat to check on her that we see the true extent of her condition. Yes, we do expect to see a true form at some point in this movie, but can anyone rightly say they were ready for quite this horror? Louise is in an octopus-like state, tentacles sprouting where her limbs once were and writhing desperately to try and reach her cure. And as soon as we are offered this incredible monster snippet, it's taken away, with the rest of the movie played out relatively normally. It is the perfect fever dream moment that cements the horror of this movie in one swift jab of a scene. 9. Harpy Attack the Last Unicorn Similar to Don Bluth films of the 80s, The Last Unicorn is a touching piece of animated cinema wrapped up in what would seem like the perfect children's movie at first glance. Magical creatures in an enchanted forest? Check. Hero's quest to save unicorns from extinction? Check. Whimsical characters with soft voices and kind hearts? Check. But amongst all this beautiful scenery and unicorn revelry, there lies plenty of darkness and unprecedented trauma. And no moment quite encapsulates this juxtaposition as well as the harpy attack. Captured by Mommy Fortuna, a witch running a midnight carnival full of animals dressed to appear as mythical monsters, the harpy is one of the few creatures Fortuna has that is the real deal. And oh boy, is the harpy not happy when the unicorn frees her from her cage. Fortuna, knowing her fate, holds her arms to the sky and laughs at her incoming doom as the harpy swoops in. And all children watching this movie with a nice unicorn are shown a woman killed by a tit-bearing vulture. It's intense, to say the least. 8. Galadriel's Transformation The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring while Bilbo going full goblin whilst talking to Frodo might stand as one of the best jump scares around, it is Galadriel's dream of power that serves as one of the most iconic scenes in the entire series. Iconic, yes, but also terrifying, something that seems to be forgotten in the aftermath of the Lord of the Rings' smash success. The Lady of Light is fair and graceful, constantly presented as emitting a warm, comforting glow as she settles the visiting fellowship into her home. When speaking with Frodo privately, however, she lets this pristine white exterior slip, and what lies beneath is… quite different. Lured into a power fantasy that sees her light swap for darkness, Galadriel knows how strong she could be should she give in to her desires for the One Ring. Her voice drops, her glow is snuffed out, and her aura switches from regal to threatening, unleashing an evil that is otherwise constantly kept in check. Learning that the most beautiful and kind of all characters is infected with this insatiable need for the ring is a rude wake-up call for anyone forgetting quite what horrors poor Frodo is dealing with. 7. The Restaurant Scene – The Invisible Man Lee Wanell's take on the classic universal monster, The Invisible Man, is undoubtedly one of the best horror offerings of 2020. Balancing superb filmmaking with a solid plot that forces us to look for horror in every empty space on screen, Wanell has made a movie that makes nothing, literally, terrifying. So imagine the surprise when it turns out that a space doesn't need to be empty for horror to come knocking. After establishing that an invisible presence is tormenting Cecilia when nobody can prove otherwise, her plan to meet with her sister in a public restaurant seems like a solid one. After all, the transparent menace wouldn't dare be bold enough to reveal himself to the wider world and lose his unseen advantage, surely. 
Wrong. Being in a public place just means Mr. Invisible can enact heinous crimes and pin them on Cecilia even more effectively, choosing to quickly and cleanly slash her sister's throat before placing the bloody knife in the shock Cecilia's hand. It's a scene that is as jaw-dropping for its audacity as it is stressful in its implication, proving literally nowhere is safe from Adrian's influence. 6. Out of the Wall A Terrados Terrified Right, so in a film that directly translates to terrified, it is only fair to expect your due share of horrific moments. It's a horror movie, there's gonna be horror, that's just the way it goes. But as this list proves, there's times when even contextual clues for just how unsettling a film is gonna be doesn't quite prepare you for the moments when boundaries are gonna be pushed. Whilst the moment a creature appears under one traumatised neighbour's bed is definitely a standout, the one that truly embodies the what the f of this film is when one of the paranormal investigators checking out a series of supernatural events discovers the cause of such disturbances. Peering into a crack in the wall, she tells us it's a case of a dimensional rift, and that another world is crossing with our own. Just as she tells us that there's no way to stop it, a long, spiny limb reaches out from the crack and kills her, before stretching the wall open and crawling out to harass another poor investigator, rightly suffering a heart attack. The imagery of this film is no joke for starters, but it's this moment, demonstrating the crossing of the divide, that really hits home. 5. Falling apart through time Looper Science fiction isn't always rooted in horror, but when the two intertwine their time-hopping nonsense and bloodied bodies, something transcendent of both is often created. For the most part, Looper is a solid sci-fi flick with a deliciously dark story at its heart. That of a mob who can send back their victims in time to kill them so there's no trace of their crimes. But it is the death of Seth that really solidifies quite what a dystopian future we're in. Seth hasn't done as he's told, and so his body is used as a conduit for communication with his older self by way of, uh, mutilation. We're forced to watch his older counterpart scrabble to an address that appears as scars on his arm, attempting to hold himself together as fingers, feet, and even his nose slowly disappear from his body. The implication being that young Seth is getting hacked apart along the way, and the injuries are then healing on his older body. Grim. 4. That's No Doll The Boy There's some debate surrounding whether The Boy's twist is a good one or not. Some claim to have predicted it from the outset, others claim to have had an inkling only to be misled by the apparent paranormal actions that take place throughout the narrative. The rest of us didn't see it coming from a mile off, and were too enraptured with the tale of what should have, by all accounts, been a formulaic haunted doll flick. However, the moment that Brahms blasts open a mirror and steps through from the crawlspace to reveal himself as a flesh and blood human, a real boy, Mr. Geppetto, is undeniably creepy no matter what your opinion on its inclusion. Back and forth at the destruction of his effigy, the boy climbs out of his tattered home and reveals his porcelain face, before beating the crap out of the people that forced him out of his clever hiding spot in the walls. For those that didn't see this coming, oh boy, huh, it's a horrible treat. 3. The Destruction of the Warren – Watership Down The OG in traumatic children's movies that blindside you with horrific sequences out of nowhere, Watership Down has upset plenty of kids, teens, and fully grown adults in the years since its release. Knowing what you're in for doesn't diminish its effects either, as watching a bunch of cartoon bunnies hop around their burrow is anything but threatening. That is, until Fiverr has a vision, and his premonition of a deadly future actually comes to pass. Swirling fields of red and suffocating rabbits fill the screen, beginning with Fiverr's original bad feeling materialising as shifting, bloodied shapes before later being confirmed by an injured rabbit later in the movie. Captain Holly finds Fiverr and tells him his vision was true, bringing up images of ghostly bunnies gasping for air and choking in their homes a world away from the colourful adventures our ragtag group are set upon. Unbelievably, even with these insidious moments, the movie is rated a U. Perhaps that just stands for upsetting, then. 2. Ending Spider – Enemy Enemy is a whole mess of weirdness from start to finish. This is a movie that revels in its unconventional narrative, an A24 experience at its most potent, one unafraid to dish out spidery horrors that last far longer in memory than its beguiling plot. It's true to say that any lasting impression is pretty clouded, since we're faced with a big fat tarantula eyeing up Jake Gyllenhaal in the closing moments that serves as all anyone remembers from watching this creepy doppelganger affair. 
Yeah, that's right. Outside of the big spider, there's a whole thing about Jake Gyllenhaal becoming obsessed with a man that looks just like him. But let's be realistic here. If the room-sized eight-legged freak scuttling into shot, with no warning I might add, is not the singular memory you retain from this strange little movie, then you're doing better than the rest of us cursed to arachnid nightmares forevermore. 1. The Ending, Summer of 84 Summer of 84 feels like a toothless version of something like The Goonies, just with way more boob talk. Four friends are pulled into a plot to uncover a serial killer they believe to be living in their neighborhood, with charismatic police officer Wayne Mackey in the line of sight. As we reach the close, however, instead of the kids proving their neighbor is the killer authorities have been searching for to cheers, celebration, and a neat and formulaic happy ending, this movie decides to flip all expectations on their head and cap off with a sickening twist. Mackie has gone missing upon being outed, or rather, into hiding, as he returns in the dead of night to kidnap two of the boys and force them into a deadly game of cat and mouse in the woods. Legs are slashed, screams are stifled, and protagonist Davy is captured only to be told that he is not going to die by Mackie's hand in this situation. No, Mackie is going to let him go and come back for him at a later date, and there is nothing Davy can do about it. And that's it! That's the end! It is a sharp left turn that makes the movie, but one that hammers home a far more realistic horror in the process. And that's our list. What other surprisingly grim moments came out of nowhere? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. I've been Ash, over on social media, at Ash Millman, and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more spine-tingling horror content. Thanks for watching.